Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. It is Friday, May 7th right now, about 7.30 in the evening. Just wanted to bring you a quick grocery haul um, for a little bit from Superstore, a little bit from Sobeys, and also I'll show you some stuff I picked up at HomeSense yesterday, a store I should really never be allowed to go into, but <sighs> it trips me up every time. It's, a, it's my weakness. So um, it is, as I said, it's Friday evening, May 7th, 7.30. Uh, my daughter gets off work at 8 o'clock, a half hour from now, so we'll probably have to go pick her up shortly. It's been a bit of an interesting week. Um, as you know, I live in Manitoba, Canada. I work part-time at two different jobs, one at an elementary school at lunchtime and also as a grocery store cashier. And it's uh, quite often I do both jobs in the same day, back-to-back. -back. And then I had three in a row this week. Um, oh, I don't even know. It's Friday right now. Yesterday I didn't have uh, anything but the school job. And then I actually went to the stables that my daughter does her riding lessons at because she paid for a riding lesson for me as my Mother's Day gift. So I didn't work at the store yesterday, but I had to work at lunchtime at the school. And then we went and I had my lesson and it went really well until the very end when we went to walk back, walk the horse back to his stall and untack him and he stepped on my foot. And I've been in a good bit of pain ever since. I was supposed to be off today as well and simply working at the school, but I was offered a day shift at the store. So I canceled working at the school today in order to work the day shift, not knowing that I was going to get injured yesterday. So I still work today, but my foot has been in a good bit of pain. So as soon as I finished work, went to a walk-in clinic, they ordered an x-ray, got that done, and then I came back, did some shopping both at Superstore and again at my store on the way home. And now I'm quickly filming it and hopefully getting the uh, fridge and freezer stuff put away before I go back and pick my daughter up again. But now I have Saturday and Sunday off, obviously because the school is closed. And right now I'm not scheduled to work at the store this weekend. And I don't intend to even if they call me in because uh, I don't know the results of the x-ray yet. But, it, you know, nonetheless, I should kind of stay off these feet as much as I can. I'd like to maybe bake a bit this weekend, and I do have some housework to do, but I'm going to try and keep it as minimal exertion as I can for once, because usually I'm go, go, go. Anyway, let me just get right to this. I'll show you what I've got. These things here, these flamingo items, you probably know by now from me talking in my videos that I am a bit of a flamingo fanatic. I think I showed you these before. These were um, items I received as a, as a gift just last month. So the matching, uh, well, I bought the pitcher myself, but then I got the bowl and the uh, glasses to match. To go with and so yesterday when i went into home sense i found these guys and these ones have they have parrots on them too which is pretty appropriate because as you know from me talking about it but also you can probably hear in the background we have parrots so this they have a four, set of four plates and then four bowls they also actually had a set of glasses but they're not glass so just cups that match this and i left those behind and i'm kind of regretting that maybe i'll get them as a Mother's Day present this weekend? I, I don't know. We'll see. But nonetheless, I really didn't need it because I felt like I already had these glasses here. So that's why I left those behind. Um, did buy two plastic flamingo wine glasses and then another set of four flamingo bowls here that I liked. So a little bit different size than the other ones and different material. But again, flamingos. I gotta love my flamingos. So anyway, on to my Sobeys haul. Um, Sobeys and Safeway are air mile sponsors. Typically, it's one air mile per $20 spent. Sometimes there are other air miles promotions going on. None of this had any extra air miles promotions, but they were just sale items. Um, my caffeine, sometimes I drink coffee, but often it is in the form of Diet Cola. These six packs are on for $2.99. And again, as an employee, I get a, a corporate discount of 10% off my first $150 spent in a week. So instead of $2.99, I bought three packs of these, so instead of $2.99, they would be $0.30 cents off, so like $2.69 a pack. 30 packs of medium-sized eggs were on for $4.77, so I got two of those. That ends up being five dozen eggs, and again, $4.77 minus my discount. And right now, boneless, skinless chicken breasts are on sale. Buy one, get one free. So right now, I paid $18.58 for that one, and the $17.95 one was free. So that would mean that basically... 18.58 for the two or about nine something for per tray and again before discount and these ones this one was 18.03 and that one was 17.91 so the 17.91 was free meaning I paid 18.03 for that one for, for for these two and then again before the discount so at Sobeys let me get my receipt here let's see one reward for every $20 spent I had three miles 
and my corporate employee discount was nine dollars and ten cents brought my total down to forty seven forty four and I earned three miles there as I said and that brought me to well eight hundred fifty nine cash miles currently that does not reflect the three because those get added later they take a little while to be added to your app but I'm currently sitting at a ninety dollars I believe of air miles cash so on to superstore. And again, anything that is either PC, President's Choice, or the yellow packaging with the black no-name bar, that those are the store brands. Uh, no-name cheese, I was told I don't have any in the fridge, so grabbed a block of medium, a block of marble. Uh, I think there are seven something on sale a piece. Quite often, no-name cheese goes on my offers. It isn't right now, but I just need it because I know I'm out. We're out of grapes. Again, they're sometimes on my offers. They are not currently, but we're out. Um, I was told we don't have any ground gravy, brown gravy packets in the house. I didn't buy very many because they're over a dollar a pack and quite often they are on for a dollar each. So I just bought two for the time being because that's not the best price. No name brand of broth was on, on my offers. Sometimes they go on for a dollar each. These were a little bit more. They were a dollar 30 something a piece I want to say. Limit of four. I didn't want to buy more than four anyway because that isn't the lowest price but they're on my offers. I usually keep beef broth and chicken broth in the house. These are all chicken. Uh, I'm not sure how much beef I have. I wasn't too worried about it because one of the YouTubers I follow, she made uh, crock pot ch chicken noodle soup in the last couple of weeks and it's been on my mind to do the same ever since I watched that. So I was primarily thinking that I'd need one or two of these just to make soup and then that would leave me with a couple leftovers. So I wasn't too worried about beef broth right now. Not planning on making beef stew anytime soon. But next time it comes on my offers, I'll probably get a couple beef broths and whatnot. Bread clams. I can't speak today. Bread crumbs. Sorry, guys. Um, not on my offers, but I like to have these on hand for when I make meatloaf. Usually I need some breading. Impulse buy. Pizza pops. I was shopping hungry. I had worked a good five-hour shift today, gone to the doctor, gone to the x-ray clinic. I was shopping hungry. No excuse. Um, Five dollars a box if you bought quantities of two. So I bought a box of three meat and a box of pepperoni bacon. Oatmeal bread, white bread that I use for sandwiches, that was on my offers, so I bought one loaf. Unico pinto beans, not on my offers, but I use these in um, taco soup. Again, I got that recipe from another YouTuber I follow. Sad thing is, these were on sale, and it was a limit of two, and yet the taco soup recipe calls for three cans. But I'm not planning on making it anytime soon, so I have two for now, and I can always go back and get another two, or another one, or whatever later on. Large bag of... Marshmallows, no name brand. I have some in the house. These were all my offers and I have some in the house, but I'm gonna need to, I need to use those old ones up because I have had them for a little while. Um, so I bought these. I was thinking originally that we were supposed to be going, uh, we still have a lot of restrictions here. We can't have people indoors or outdoors in our houses right now for company, but we were going to do a group riding lesson with a couple of our coworkers in a few weeks um that are closer to my daughter's age she was going to go with them and then we were possibly going to have a little bonfire at one of the provincial parks afterwards and roast marshmallows and hot dogs and whatnot now as of six o'clock tonight they're saying there's restrictions on that i have to look into the particulars of it but i think there's restrictions on how many even for outdoor gatherings right now and that's for the next minimum three weeks and unfortunately that lesson was supposed to happen on the 25th so that lesson may, the whole thing may be on hold at this point, and certainly the gathering afterwards, even though it's outdoors in a park, may also be on hold because of the numbers and being from multiple households and stuff. So anyway, I'll probably use up some of my old ones just to make Rice Krispie squares for the time being. And these are fresh, they're very soft still, so even if we have to reschedule our gathering for like a month from now or two months from now, these should still be relatively fresh by that point. My daughter informed me that I have lots of Bottles of shampoo in the house, but hardly anything in the way of conditioner. And Garnier Fructis uh, products were on my offers this week, so I got some, I got different scents basically, a few different kinds. Apple extract, this Color Shield one, even though I'm the one with colored hair, my daughter keeps using it anyway, but that's okay. Not too, too worried about it. Um, I think this is a citrus one, I believe. Citrus extract. Uh, what's this one? I can't remember. Butter Rich. What does that say? It's vegan down there, butter rich. And this one is Sleek and Shine Zero Silicon for frizzy fine hair. You know what? I have natural curl in my hair, and my hair, because of that, does tend to get a little bit on the fuzzy side sometimes. That's actually not a bad thing for me. Um, and I think I told you with these Pepsi, I think I told you about three packs of these. That's back to Sobeys again. That's an aside. My mind is wandering. So it's been a very long day. 
Let's go over the breakdown of my points here from Superstore. Okay. Old Mill Sliced Bread, 200 points. Marshmallows, 1,000 points. Garnier Fructis Hair Care, 1,200 points. And No Name Can Chicken Broth, 1,000 points. That is... 32, 3,400 points, I believe. It looks like I spent $73.87 at Superstore. And offers, yes, 3,400 points, just like I thought. That leaves me the closing balance of 117,999 points, which means I'm almost at the $120 mark worth of points. Uh, you can redeem at the Superstore gas bar in store for increments of $10. So right now I'm sitting at 110, almost at 120. And as I said, for my Air Miles cash, I'm sitting at 90 right now. And as I always say, the money is there. Like, those points are there to use if my paycheck's a bit low. I'd rather not. I'm trying to save them till Christmas and use them then if I can. But if there's a low paycheck sometime, then I may have to dip into the points. That's why they're there. Anyway, that is everything for right now. I need to get these chicken breasts in the fridge or the freezer. I might leave one pack out so I can make that soup this weekend. The rest are going in the freezer Cheese needs to get put away, and that's pretty much all the most important stuff right now. That's all the fridge stuff. I then go get my daughter. And then hopefully, I'm supposed to put my feet up this weekend because my foot's gimped a little bit, but I would like to maybe bake some muffins at some point this weekend and make that soup. But I'm going to try not to overdo it, but I'm usually such a go-go-go person that for me to sit still for any length of time is a is a feat. So we'll see what happens. And that's no, fun in, no pun intended, by the way. <laughs> I just thought of that after. I'm not trying to make a funny... I'm just saying I tend to not slow down very much. So we'll see what happens. I will try, but there are no promises. There are I'm behind on laundry. There are things that need to be done. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below and give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a great weekend, everybody.